In this video that's part of our topographic workflow, let's go ahead and export this surface to AutoCAD just to kind of see what Traverse PC does with it. So I'm going to right click, choose Tools, Export Drawing As, and I'm going to choose AutoCAD DWG. I really don't need any settings, but you can come in and choose which version of AutoCAD you want to um, export as. And then I'm just going to say, go ahead and export that. Let's overwrite the file I sent earlier. And uh, I've got a preview button set in the settings, so it automatically brings it up inside of um, AutoCAD. And this is the AutoCAD viewer, so it's not even the full version of AutoCAD. So here's my drawing that I brought over, and you can see the tin and the contour lines there that are part of the surface that we exported. Let's go ahead and just put this in for orbit mode here. And let's just kind of bring this up so you can see what we got here. Can you see this surface pretty readily? So Traverse PC brought that in in three, di three dimension. That's what it developed it in. And you can start seeing now a little bit about how steep that was. Uh, and I want you to know that um, this is a polyface mesh. I think in DGN it's a polygon mesh, if I have my um, uh, nomenclature right. So it's as if I had developed this surface inside of CAD. And, and that's kind of neat, because uh, if I'm going to use this for engineering, I need that polyface mesh uh, available to me, and, and it is. So uh, it doesn't matter if we develop this surface in a program like Traverse PC or in a Civil 3D or whatever, I get the same polyface mesh. And I can work on it now inside CAD uh, how, however I want. So this is a pretty neat deal. It's We often talk about the fact that Traverse BC plays nicely with CAD, and uh, when you send someone a CAD file, it's a rich CAD file, and you're seeing just a little piece of that here. That um, here I've got this. I've got 3D on these uh, lines here. I could have turned that 3D option off and off, or just set the elevations to zero. That would have been fine. Uh, so they're kind of up in the air also. But I did want you to see this uh, polyspace mesh, and the fact that I've got something pretty nice to work with inside of AutoCAD.